Hi, thanks for tuning in to another Literacy Friday session. Today we are looking at summary writing steps and these are the steps to follow when writing a summary of an extended piece. Something that looks as long as this with multiple paragraphs when preparing a summary, these are the steps to follow. Step 1. Read the title. When you read the title, you gain insight about what the text is about. The title often highlights the main topic and suggests what the main idea may be. Step 2. Read the text in full. We're reading everything in the text from top to bottom. That way we can get a general understanding of what the text is about before attempting to write the summary. Step 3. Find out the meaning of any word, phrase, or expression that is unfamiliar to you. If you're not completing the summary on the test conditions, then you may be able to use a dictionary, but try not to rely so heavily on the dictionary and utilize the context clues to decipher the meaning of any unfamiliar word, terminologies, or expressions that you're not sure about. When you practice using context clues to unlock meanings, then you will be better able to handle summary writing under exam conditions, especially if you are preparing for CSEC English A. Step 4. Reread each paragraph and identify the main idea of each. So you are rereading the paragraphs one at a time, identifying the main idea of each, and then jot down the main idea of each paragraph. This is a stage at which we start writing, but we are not structuring it in paragraph form as yet. Just jot down the main idea so when you get to the end of the text, you'll be able to easily sort them and put them together. Step 5. Highlight any important supporting details that you encounter. Jot them down. And you could be doing this simultaneously as doing the others, but please ensure that you only highlight the important supporting details we would have covered this aspect in a previous lesson so if you miss such lessons just flip back a few sessions in this series to understand how to identify what's important and what's not step six read the text again yes we're reading the text once more this time to identify any other points that we may have missed and to jot them down so in totality we would have read the text at least three times before attempting to put the summary together and that is being thorough step seven restate all the main points in a clear concise way and organize the same in paragraph form so we have jotted them down, now we are putting them in sentence form in an organized, clear and very brief way. Step 8. Edit what you have written. Yes, we are humans and humans tend to make errors. And in summary writing, we are checking for errors in grammar, errors in punctuation and errors in spelling. But also check for redundancy and wordiness and ensure that you have adhered to the word limit. We have already had lessons in this series about identifying and eliminating redundancy and wordiness. If you missed it, go check it out. That's all for today, folks. Next week, we look at summarizing audio content. See you soon.